Good boy. Clever boy. Good boy. What a clever dog you are. So what I'm doing here is I'm just, whilst the dog's having a great time, he's eating food, he's bound to be enjoying himself, I'm just gently tapping two metal bowls together. By association alone, he learns that noise isn't something he should be frightened of. Actually, when there's a lot of noise about, he gets to do really exciting or nice things. In this case, uh, eat his food. It's just one of many tiny things we can do that will eventually help to reduce our dog's sensitivity to noise. So here we are outside. Perhaps you'd call it stage two of noise associated training. It's essential that little Brook here has a great time whilst there's noise going on around him. In the distance, and I mean in the distance, a, a very distant sound of gunfire. We want Brook to have a good time and associate, uh, if not directly, indirectly, the sound of gunfire with pleasure. At the moment he's having fun. He's just following my hands around because I've got a little uh, toy in my hand. In fact, a little glove that I pulled out of my pocket. And uh, he's just having a nice time. It's very important, as Pavlov showed us, that um, anything that happens that's pleasurable, the dog's likely to repeat and enjoy. So it's uh, very important at this stage that nothing ha negative happens with uh, a loud noise, because it'll simply frighten him, and uh, subsequently it may uh, create a dog that we would term as gun shy. So there's Little Brook having nothing more than a bit of fun with some gunfire in the background. So. This is a dummy launcher, has a dummy fitted to it. When we fire it using a remote control from some distance, it launches this dummy into the air. Simultaneously, we hear the shot, the bang. It's gonna be a great training aid for getting our dog to associate the sound of gunfire with something really pleasurable, the retrieve. Okay, so we've got the dog associating the sound of gunfire with a retrieve, it's time to move up to the real shotgun. We're using a, one of the smaller gauges of shotgun, we're using the 410. The 410 is obviously a smaller gun, makes slightly less noise than a big 12 bore, so we're starting at lower levels and we'll gradually move up to a 12 bore as we progress. So what's gonna happen is we're always gonna go out across the field, throw a dummy, shoot the shotgun at the same time and I'll send the dog out for the retrieve. The result, once again, we keep reinforcing shotgun sound great feeling dog gets reinforcement of going out and retrieving the dummy. So we've seen Taff take a retrieve directly off the shot from a shotgun. He's now comfortably relating the sound of gunfire uh, and expecting a retrieve soon after. So that's a really good place to be. How long it takes your dog to get to this point doesn't really matter. What's really important that you is, is that you assess the dog as he goes along and that you don't make any rash or early decisions. Remember, we only get one chance at this. If you frighten your dog with sound, noise, gunfire, it's going to be very difficult to recondition him to accept it. So make sure you do this gently, gently, gently and do keep training. <laughs> 